Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about if Greek life is for you. We're going to be talking about the pros and the cons of joining a sorority. So let's get started. So some may think that you need a whole year to get acclimated to your campus and just, you know, get into the college groove and maybe wait to go through recruitment as a sophomore. So let me start off by saying a bunch of girls do go through recruitment as sophomores and I know my pledge class like half of them were sophomores so it's not a weird thing to do but I just want you to realize that it's one less year of being in a sorority and I know if I look back on it now if I went through recruitment as a sophomore I would only have three years in my sorority and I would hate that I would like already be done by now you're allowed to be in a sorority for like four years so if you want to be a fifth year senior then you could get all your four years but I was definitely not trying to do another year in school so I definitely wanted to rush as a freshman and get all my four years of my sorority then the first pro is that you will get acclimated faster to the campus when you do join a sorority and that might sound crazy, but if you actually think about it, there's so many older girls in that sorority that can help you with your classes and which ones to take and help you get around campus and maybe tell you shortcuts to get to that one specific class. There's about 200 or so girls that can give you advice and that's been at that campus up to four years. So they definitely have a lot of experience that they can share with you. And if you wait to join a sorority, maybe your sophomore or junior year, you kind of have to figure out the campus and like college on your own, which is awesome if you're independent. But for me, I'm super not independent at all. So it was just so helpful having like so many people to help you throughout your first year. The first con is that it is a lot to deal with, especially if you aren't doing a summer session and you're going straight to fall. It's a lot to take in, you have to move in early, and you might not have friends from Summer B to go through recruitment with you. I mean, I did Summer B and none of my friends from Summer B did recruitment, so I still had to do it alone. But definitely, if you think you can handle it, I totally recommend doing it in fall. So another con is that it is time consuming. You have to go to chapter almost every Sunday or Monday, whatever your sorority does. And then you also have some events throughout the week, some are mandatory, some are optional. It just really depends on what the event is. This does not mean that you won't have time for a job and school and a sorority. You can definitely do it. More than half my sorority sisters pay for their own sorority dues and have a job and have an internship and do sororities and do school. So, you know, you can do it if you put your mind to it. I definitely think a pro can come out of this, which is that you can build your time management skills because if you have an event to go to, you know that you have like this chunk of time to do your homework, to do your assignments and whatever else you need to do. I know for me personally, I actually do better when I'm busy and when I have things to do because when I'm just chilling in bed, I am just get lazier and lazier and start putting things off to do for the next day. So I definitely recommend getting a planner or getting a Google Calendar app or something like that so you can plan out your day accordingly to the event that you have to go to or the mandatory meeting that you have to go to. So another pro is that you can gain so many opportunities from organizations like this by networking. We have events with people who have graduated that have already gotten jobs in maybe the field you're looking at or maybe something that you are interested in that you want to find out more about. So you can definitely talk to alum at these events and maybe get internships and jobs. I know my sorority has a Facebook page with all of the alum and they always post like internships and job opportunities in there. So all of my sisters definitely take advantage of all those opportunities. This next one is a pro slash con, I would say. It's just what you put in is what you get out of it. So if you go to all of these events, if you go to all of these meetings, you will find a special love for your chapter and you will bond with more sisters and you will just like love it so, so much. The more you are involved and the better attitude you have about going to these meetings and going to these events, the better your experience will be. So I definitely recommend having a good attitude from the get go because that will 100% make or break your experience. If you have a better attitude, you will make more friends and you will start to think of these things as fun things to do and not think of it as a chore. I'm hoping that you wanna join a sorority to go to these events and to meet people and to network. So it shouldn't be a problem, but I understand when people get in their little ruts about having a bad attitude. Maybe you're like really stressed about school or something and you still have to go to this mandatory meeting and yeah, that sucks, but maybe you just need to have good time management skills. So get that planner app, girl. <laughs> the last con I have for you guys is that 
I hope you know when you go through recruitment that every organization does have their rules and does have their standards. So if you guys go through recruitment thinking like all these organizations don't have rules, you're so totally wrong. Because if you think about it on bid day, you are now a sister of ours and you are representing our letters and we want you to represent them in the best way that you possibly can. So I know now social media is a big thing you know, if you're underage, you obviously can't post things with alcohol because you're underage. We are an organization and even if you don't have, you know, the letters in that picture, they're definitely in your bio. So it's the same kind of deal. Everyone knows that you are that organization. It's really just in your best interest and this actually turns into a pro as well. Rules are good for the soul. It's definitely going to develop you into a lady on social media because you will be portrayed as classy and you'll get a job easier if you don't have crazy social media. So it's definitely in your best interest like I said. So just try to keep your social media as clean as possible. So that's it on my pros and cons. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are already in a sorority, definitely comment down some pros and cons that people can read throughout the comments and maybe get more of a gist for Greek life. Don't forget to check out my how to sorority playlist. I have so many videos with vlogs and just videos to help prepare you for recruitment. So I will have that link down in the description box below. Also, let me know if there are any other videos that you guys would like me to do talking about sororities and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!